This is crazy. We have 58 damage that we could do here on turn two. Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today I wanted to bring you guys some more Black Book. And last episode, we retrieved the belt from an old witch. Uh, we actually That's got the I'm skull or something about. from I this. Uh, I think we already I heard this, though. This will tell on us to yeah, we, we already talked to this. We, we're, we're pretty much like, he ends up being a uh, an old friend of uh, old Igor. Uh, we we kind of saw that last episode. We've already kind of seen everything he has to say. Um, and uh, what, what does Prashka have to say here? You got anything new to say for me? Can't you see? I'm old Kazi here on the sleeping bench. I'm sleepy. Ask what you wanted. I need to sleep. Uh, tired. Um, Ikota. Oh, okay, we've already asked all these things as well. That's how fiends, if they possess people, that is. You know that. Wish to any demon can become Ikota. Climb up in someone. Got it? That's it. People will call you Ikota. Bet you can do it better than me. Huh, okay. Yeah, so I think we've already kind of talked with the cat. Uh, we've already talked with a lot of these. What, let's, let's go check out our pester with the chorts here. Um... We have a lot of sin. I still, even though I don't think we're gonna get like a good ending, I'm still gonna try, right? So who's the really, really bad ones here? The the minus one, we can send you on a, we have another meaningless job. Oh, he's already on a meaningless job, okay. Well, I can only put two people on meaningless jobs. So um, that's kind of just gonna be where it stays at. Uh, we now have the belt now, uh, and if I remember correctly, we are our, our build here is we're kind of doing some crazy stuff where we're just doing a ton of uh, the uh, fierce and um, like firm and stuff like that in the gesture. So these cards, um, or that gets that doesn't expire. What, what was it? It was well versed, right? Well versed for it, so it gives us more damage for each uh, individual hit. Um, removes negative status to. I think we kept that because that was just really, really good. Uh, well versed for four. Do we want that? Because this is the time to customize our deck here if we want. Um, let's see. Well versed four. Do we have a better option than that? Um, is that the best one we have right now? Well versed four. Four shield. Yeah, I think that's the best that we will get. So um, I don't know. Is there anything else that we really, really want here? Um, waste. Uh, well, versed for, well, versed four is pretty solid, honestly. Um, firm, well versed. Oh, that means it stays for a single turn. Nava. So we, oh, we already have four of those. We already have four of those. Okay. Uh, fierce two. I don't actually like the fierce, the the Jiria or whatever. Or it gets stronger the more we play that. Um, to enemies that could be solid. Firm three. Oh yeah, a bunch of locks. That's interesting because it just yeah let's let's buy a bunch of locks here because they just stay there. Um, actually, let's let's have all the locks. They're gonna stay. It's gonna slow us up here a little bit. Um, does not expand cantillation. We only have two key tongues. They're just free. Uh, we don't. We're already like out. We don't have a lot of money. Um, firm one one to all enemies. Finer than the sword. There's some really cool things here. Honestly. Um, Three to all enemies. I think we still, yeah, we want an AoE of some sort, right? Um, key tongue, gesture, one, firm three, well versed. Well versed. Okay, you know what? That's, that's fine. That's fine enough. That's fine enough. Um, let's see. We have one visitor that we have to hear and talk to. Oh, is it a demon? Excuse me? Greetings to you, mistress of the house. I was flying back from Igor's job when I know Oh, is this one of our shorts or one of Igor's shorts? Some bandits jumped the Kaldun near the crossroads. He drove a cart. Perhaps there is something useful for you there. Maybe. Okay. Okay, so that's our side quest here. Uh, I want to talk to Nikolai. I don't we think we've talked to him. Tell everyone about the shorts we've met. You know, to warn the good people, right? Everyone knows, but not everyone believes. Uh, future plans. What are you going to do with your new bride? Well, we'll get a farm. We'll get folks from the village to help. Well now, I'll build an excellent izba. And children eventually. What a life it will be. Be careful though. Who knows? 
The Bannock might be back. That's good. The mother-in-law is always welcome. Mm. It seems that you're the fiercest of them all. How did you end up with a cross? Oh, it's nothing. Yeah, right. There's no such thing as a cross with no story behind it. All right, then. I'll tell you. Is a cross something special or just like just a cross with a necklace we or something? We were near a town. Belevna, it's called. It was a real massacre there. Did you encounter any chorts there? Worse. The cannon fire was so loud that all the chorts fled, if they were any. He's just like, yeah, war's hell. Seems the Worse than demons. To the north. So, there was this Redut ahead of us. Couldn't take it. Redut? Well, it's a kind of a fortress. No one could get any closer. And what about you, being such a gallant lad? Hey, no jokes. Listen, I think God helped me. I went from the side and then found some barrels full of gunpowder and lit them. They blew up, started a fire. There was a lot more ammunition there. A lot of our enemies burned that day. Oh, jeez. I can still hear their screams. I suppose I will to the end of my days. I nearly died there myself. Since then, when I see a oh. fire, I remember that tridut and those screams. I fished the cross from the river of blood, Vaisa. Are you happy now? Do you understand about the fire now? Ah. Hmm. Dang. We'll talk. Dang. Okay, well, I think we're uh, I think we're good cuz all these people we've already talked to last episode, I'm pretty sure. So let's uh, let's set off here. So our main task is get a name from the monologies. Christians receive their names from the monologies. So you set forth to the Trinity Church in Vilgort to get a name for the bride of the Bond. You still don't really understand what that means. Uh, and then we also just have an accident, traffic accident. I uh, will go to old Igor's Isba, I guess. I should search for evil spirits in forest uh, near the Isba and get rid of any shorts. Sure, sounds good. Sounds good. Let's try to get our sin down. Let's try to make the good decisions. Oh. Okay. Um, so we increase the well, so I think it's only for one turn. The well-versed effect of black words for one. Um, and we're also immune to ward. Um, which I think might actually be our short hurting us. So four and two, we have eight to start with, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, firm, well-versed. Oh my gosh, what if we just firm, well-versed? Um, so that's what? Firm, well-versed. Firm, well versed. So what is that? That's already 15 damage. Wait a minute, but then we... If we gesture one there... That's 19 damage there. 19 damage. Or... What is gesture? Gesture is just, uh... What is gesture? Oh, does not expend cantillation. Oh, that means just a free key. Okay. So this is, yeah, 19 damage, then we can lock as well. 22 damage, which actually means we could probably... Oh, that's only 13. Oh wait, 13 plus... Oh, it's Curse. It's the old Igor guy. Well, this doesn't matter. Okay, well, we'll yeah, we will just kill that guy, I guess. Whatever. Um, and you can curse that guy. Sure. Man, this, this is an insane build here. We have a freaking insane build. So yeah, he's he's like nerfed here. So he all one damage. Uh oh. Uh oh. What are you doing now here? Just dealing one damage. Look at this. We're already doing fifteen damage. Though okay, I'm assuming it's gonna target the other person here. So firm. Okay, yeah, it's it's forcing. Uh, it's kind of weird that it mouses over someone that's dead, but this is hilarious. Oh my gosh. 9 damage. I mean, we were so overkill there. Uh firm one to all enemies. That could be pretty good. Removes uh positive statuses. We'll just get a firm one to all enemies. That's pretty solid. So we cleared that. Uh, there's a peddler here. Traveling merchant. Uh, we have no money, though. We're kind of money-starved, and I know it's because we're trying to be good or whatever, Buy but... An amulet and a trinket. 
by potion than drinking. Hey, it rhymed. As healthy as a boar, demons fleeing from your roar. <laughs> I like I like the rhyme in here. Okay, what do you have to offer that I can't buy? Plus one eloquence on black. Oh, that's our items. Yeah, we can't afford anything. Can we sell? Oh, wait a minute. We could probably sell. Devil's finger. Um, how do I know if I okay, I have those three equipped here. Um, herbs and healing zygovores. We'll we'll sell that. And plus four health. We'll sell that. Though it does suck though if I get more item slots, right? Um but whatever. Um You know what? I'd rather just have permanent things. I'd rather just have permanent things. Immunity to, uh, from spikes. Let me see if there's any of these that are insane. Ooh, silver ring, gain one eloquence on battle start. Strengthens prayer, enemy attack, deal one. Adds three well-versed effect values. Oh. Oh, that's, that's a single use. That's a single use. Um. Two poison on battle start. Okay, I want that silver, I want that silver ring. So we'll just sell one of the healing things and we will buy the silver ring. Um, the other things I might want situationally. So now we want that gain plus one on eloquence on battle start. Oh, that's just in general. The deck of cards was only for the black ones. Well, verse, that's just for all of them. So it's technically a better one. Um, we'll get three less, and we'll do that. We'll just have, like, even more damage. And, um... Okay, here we go. Um, back to, uh... The, uh... We'll go to the Rustaluk back Backwaters. No one has seen any snakes here for several days. I suppose I drove off these creatures. It should be quiet here now. And I don't mind walking through a quiet grove by the river. Okay, sounds good. You stumble upon a strange clearing. The trees are fallen as if hit by a hurricane. Or perhaps the master of the forest walked this path. What's strange is that in the middle of the clearing, a single tree stands oh. undamaged. You come closer and realize that the tree was saved by the pre herb that grows among its roots. You bow to the plant and cut it down. You take the herb and it just get gives us what five shield. Way. I don't know. It kind of hypes up the herbs and stuff like that. And I don't, I'm not really needing them or using them. I don't know. Let's go do this side quest here. Crossroads. These crossroads always had a bad reputation, and not by chance. I've learned that in person. It seems that where the roads meet, the border between worlds grows thin. We're gonna see some giant demons or shorts or something. Near the covered crosses, you notice a jug of milk and a loaf of bread. It would seem that someone still visits these old graves. With sadness, you wonder if dead men need any treats. I can't make an offering to remove sin. I don't have the two coins it would take. Are you kidding me? And I can't sell anything right now. Oh, that makes me that makes me sad, actually. We'll just leave. Maybe I can come back here. Maybe I can come back, hopefully. Broken cart. This is the side quest here. I hope I can come back there. I probably won't, though. A cart has gone off the road. But no one seems to be around, neither its owner nor the horses. The cart itself is empty except for one jewelry box, obviously left behind by the owners. Its lid is slightly ajar. Glass shards of various colors gleam in oh. the sunlight, reflecting the moonlight. Let's take the jewelry box. You carefully pick the item up and get ready to go on your way. Wait, what? Your first Zagravor always has glass demons page. What, does that mean we always get to deal three damage to all people? Your first Zagravor. That's not actually that much. It's nine damage, but I'd rather protect five so I can just go all out. Maybe if I get more of these item slots, I definitely will, right? Um which we're somewhat close. Not not a, really, but um, yeah, I can't I can't even go there anymore. So we'll go to the bank of Kolva. The road of Vilgort went, winds along the picturesque bank of the Kolva River here. From afar, you hear two demons arguing furiously. 
Their shouts make the treetops sway. It seems that they are arguing over a fish they caught in some peasant's fish trap. When you take a good look, you realize that a human soul is in the trap. Oh. Shrunken in horror. Now we're attacking, we're saving them. Quickly draw a circle and read your first Zagavar. The shorts drop the trap and the soul slips away and flies into the sky. We lost sin. We lost sin. Oh, look at these. Um, for each page you read... Oh, that's... Oh, he's trying to poison us. Okay, well, we're definitely gonna kill that guy. Definitely gonna kill that guy. Um, let's see. Firm well versed. Um... We have a lot of the firm well versed. Yeah, firm well versed. Firm well versed. Firm. One enemy, so we have 23 damage. Do we actually need? Wait a minute. Okay, 14 damage. Total happening to that guy. So then we can do this other one there. And we'll do the curse four on this guy. Sounds good. Yeah, I don't want no poison on me. I'm reading a lot of a lot of things, so. Well, you gotta you gotta get out of here. Look at that damage. And then he's cursed. I mean, yeah, this this build we have, like, honestly, I feel like either we're too good at the game or the game's on the easier side. I don't know. I mean, I know it's a story game, but, like, this is... This is crazy. We have 58 damage that we could do here on turn two. It's crazy. Um, we'll take, uh, that and then immediately remove it out of the deck here. Because I don't actually want that. Um, where was it? Oh, it didn't add it to our deck. Wait, does it not add things to our- Oh, no, it does. Okay. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. Um, Colva Bridge. Uh, bridges connected- connect two riverbanks, thus they act as a kind of border between worlds. It's well known that borders are a favorite place, uh, for spirits to dwell. Ooh, spicy. Spicy! On a bridge over a small river near Vilgert, two cart drivers argue over Everyone's who arguing. should have way first. They are arguing fiercely, not realizing that each has a demon over the left shoulder. It's the demon's job to bring discord and serve as a prompter of sorts, whispering lines into their ears. Uh, we'll just attack the demons. You casually draw a circle while the demons are making fun of the peasants. These shorts clearly weren't ready for your- I wonder if it's like across the obelisk where we get things early. So, four damage. Um, amplifies by one after each use of the pages of the same name. Oh, so this can go first? Does that count for the other person? I don't know. Either way, we're gonna just kill this guy pretty much. Firm well versed on him. Firm well versed on him. A uh, gesture there for free. Firm three lock. Three to all enemies. Was that? 23 damage? Sweet. And then we'll curse for this guy. So we won't actually take any damage whatsoever. Easy peasy. I mean, this is insane. Right? Like, this is... We had exact lethal there. Especially with that new item that we bought. I mean, that's... This is crazy. And, and then, like, the next turn is just even more... Look at this, we have 46 damage. I mean, these, these th it's not even close. Uh, Keytong, sure. Peasants pay no mind to the sounds of fighting. Nevertheless, by the time the shorts have gone back to hell, the argument is also over, and both peasants go about their own business. Okay. Um, so Old Barnes is where we need to go. Oh, no, 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 okay, wait. Okay, this is, an, this is an off thing, so Eastern Wood. The woods near the old riverbed of the Colva do not have yet... Do not yet have a name of their own, so everyone just calls them the Eastern Woods or the Eastern Grove. Oh, there was another side thing, too. You walk along an old path through the Eastern Woods. At this hour, the moon shines especially bright. Everything around you glows with a mysterious light. All of a sudden, you hear loud voices and metallic ringing coming from the woods. Oh. You can only guess what this late night commotion is. I guess I'll look about. around. Trying not to make a sound, you go deep into the woods. Finally, the branches part, 
and you see a curious sight. Some Khaldun's, unknown to you, are trying to agree on the price of a pile of copper samovars. One of them looks deeply upset and constantly knocks on one of the items. It seems he wants to demonstrate its quality. You notice a pair of red eyes peeking out from the samovar. I don't know what a samovar is. Let's just attack him. It seems the Khaldun's didn't expect company. Both of them jump in surprise when they hear your voice and run away faster than you can stop them. To your horror, the Samovars start to move and an angry Chort emerges from each of them. Oh, look at that. Is the Samovar a card? I don't know. Okay, either way, four and it's gonna hurt us. This guy's gonna shield the other. Firm well versed on him. Actually, Actually, you know what? We'll firm well versed on him. Then we'll three on all enemies. We will firm well versed. How much damage do we have right now? That's five on him. What happens if we just do the two there? What is that? What, what's damage? It's kind of hard to tell. Three. So 11. I think we're good there. So we can firm well versed here. And we'll curse him. I think we got this. I think we did the math right. Okay, he's dead. Nice. Oh, and, and yeah, I think even if we were off by one, it'll at least like go to him. Because there's not like a, you know, legal target or whatever. I mean, we are just bodying these people. We are absolutely bodying these people. What is this? 41 damage? I mean, get out of here. Get out of here. Fierce 2. Um, we'll get in a volley or whatever, and we'll just immediately get it out of here. I only want one of those. And even then, I don't feel like I really need it. Um, what is this? There's also a lake that we can go to. A curved lake. Ooh. I bet this is going to be something quirky here. By the icy smooth surface of the lake, you notice a horse anxiously shaking its mane. A couple of demons are tugging on its bridle, trying to steal it from its master, who is asleep beneath a slope nearby. Um, what's better, attacking or waking the peasant up? Let's attack him. With a practiced movement, you draw a circle and. Because I'm scared the that they would, like, kill the guy, right? So, okay, three and three damage. So we will just uh, firm well versed. We'll firm well versed. We will firm well versed. So that's 18 damage, perfect. Um, remove, we'll do some damage there. Actually, I'd rather just get the lock on for next turn. And then we can take the three damage. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. I mean, I'm getting, like, exact perfect on what I need here. Oh, I could have... I should have done the curse. I mean, it doesn't even matter, though, right? Like, I mean, this is... 63 damage! Like, I'm doing, like, consistently, like, 50 damage, like, over, you know, what we need. Uh, firm one, one damage to all enemies. That doesn't actually get buffed, so I'll just take... I don't know that. Just in case you want to do things. From the sounds of fighting, with a sinking heart, he watches as the demons' strikes send whirlwinds around you. Although the man cannot see the demons themselves, he seems to have guessed at what is happening. So we saved After him, but we didn't even like lose sin. I was hoping we would at least soon. He horse and flees, without waiting for the fight's outcome. Dang. Okay then. I see that. I mean, I would do that too, though. So I don't. I don't blame him. Okay, it does suck that I have to keep taking these cards out of my deck. Um, okay. Um, black book. Or what are we doing? Okay, yeah, we're going to the old barns before the Trinity Church. So long ago, people stored hay and grain here. Then around 30 years ago, several barns burned down. People believe this place to be cursed, and these are now abandoned. Now the barns are built further to the east. Now, let's go see what's going up in the old barns here. Let's go see what, what's up, what they're up to. The silhouettes of the old Avins look like lurking demons. You search one barn after another, but there's nothing of value inside. 
You sigh, and get ready to leave when a chill runs through you. You notice dark, demonic figures in one of the old barns. Okay, let's let's greet them. Maybe they're not evil. Greetings, Master of the Avene. Let me pass into your domain. Ah, alive one. The peasants left me here. I'm to leave here for another 40. You can hear me, I gather. That means you're a witch. Come into my barn then Ooh. and listen to me. I was not expecting story. like this involved. I have centuries of wisdom to share. Might be of use to demon knowers like you. I bet he's just bored out of his mind. Yeah, we'll enter Thank the barn. You, kind host. I'm always looking to learn. Well, listen. It seems as if many hours have passed, but the stars haven't moved an inch. Well, you leave the barn having learned quite a lot. So, okay. We uh, we gained 200 experience. I'll take that. Oh, well, there's another thing. Cemetery near Retkin Village. The village is small but has its own cemetery. I should check it out. Maybe I can catch some demons there. I do not want any more chorts. I don't want to be terrorizing no one. You see a flickering light among the graves. You come closer, trying not to make a single sound. Soon, you see that one of the fresh graves is being dug up by an acquaintance of yours. Oh. Why, you startled me, Vasilisa. I thought that the devil had come for me. Oh, it's a freaking peasant? I don't think he's supposed to be doing this. Loafing about cemeteries at night. Don't you know it's a sin? What are you doing at such a late hour? In a cemetery of all places. This is not he's, a he's business. He's robbing, he's looting the and things. Of course talking. Good girls stay home during the late hours. I can already tell that you're digging up a grave. What a sin. Don't talk to me about sins. People say that you're a witch now. Fuh. My grief makes me dig. I need to take one less look at him. One less time. Um... Let's talk him out of it. Listen to me. It is not proper digging up graves. You said that I'm a witch. So I am. I know a thing or two. Listen, one time, do you know Dashka from Pilva? She had it worse than you. Her son died. She missed him terribly. And so she went to dig him up. She dug all night and didn't manage to finish the job. So she came back the second night. She dug and dug. Suddenly... A white dog jumped out of the grave. It followed her to her house. Must have been the soul of her son. It was certainly a sin. By the end of the tale, the peasant can't hold back his tears. You help him get out of the half-dug grave and fill it back up. As you do this, you notice an Adam's head growing so we, nearby. So we, we got rid of some sin. Let's do it. We're at 12 sin. <laughs> Still... Uh, Trinity Church. The church stands so we're okay atop the northern slope, the most scenic spot in Vilgort. It was built with white stone, and at night it looks like it glows, and the sun it shines even brighter. So here we go. We're got we're going to our main task here to get a name apparently, which I don't I don't know what that means honestly. You arrive during the long pre-dawn twilight. Sharp points of age-old fir trees from a jagged wall far behind the church of Vilgort. The priest has already begun preparations for the morning rituals. He notices you, puts aside his chores, and greets you. I thought it said it puts aside his shorts, and I was like, what? <laughs> but yeah, Who I guess that, that they don't have that. Dawn? Is it you, Vasilisa? Cover your head, girl. Tfu. Morning, Holy Father. Oh, Nikolai's with us? Goya? Is that you? I thought old Igor was with us. <gasps> and don't tell me you want me to marry you to well, it's too early for me. Kole, on the other hand. Hey, Vasa. Don't go deciding the things for me. We came for another reason, actually. We need a name. An orthodox one. From the list of the holy names. From the Sviatse. So it's a spiritual book containing names of the saints in connection to calendar days. Uh, Sviatse was consulted to name a child. Are we needing to name them? Because they don't remember their name? Is that what it was about? <laughs> It can't be. Are you expecting? No, we want to give a name to her demon. You want to what? I don't think you should have said that. Father Yefrem sways, walks back to the nearest wall, and sits heavily on a bench. Are you sure you don't want to marry? It's all for good. We want to free this girl. 
You explain your encounter with the Banya Bride, and what she needs for her freedom. I've heard about the Changelings. Not sure how it works, though. Uh, I can't give you a name. The chort tricked you both. Nothing good can come of it. Choosing a name from Sviatsi turns out to be not such an easy task. How can I make him reconsider? Um... It's a Christian soul, help thy demons, kind short, help thy neighbors. Let's say it's a Christian No, let's say help thy neighbor. Oh, see, because I don't know. A, a Christian soul, is he going to be like, oh, no, Christian soul can't be, like, you know, taken over by a demon. Or help thy, I don't know, help thy neighbors? It is written, thou shalt help okay. thy neighbors. Okay, we did it good. After all, she's a person, just like us. Truly. Hmm. They say you are a witch now. Vasya, it will soon be the harvest day of Ivan the Long. We need to disperse the dry winds. Help our village, and I, in turn, will help you with the name. It's a deal. I know a ritual to thwart dry winds. We'll go visit the field. Hmm. All right. You'll have your name. Father Yefrem opens a heavy book with a silver cover. Choose. These days, we honor the Holy Claudia, Matriona, and Alexandra. Um, I like Claudia, honestly. That's a, that's a, actually, we'll let, we'll let Nikolai choose. Kolya, she's your bride. You choose. Let's call her Matriona. Okay, that's a, good that's, that's a good name. You would name her after a respectable woman? Watch out. She might become a knower. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, father. We got the name. Well, the field is about a mile to the west. Yeah, we'll go to the field. I'll try to thwart the winds. See you later. Like, I don't know why we would try to trick him. Unless we, you were doing, like, a you full evil build. You arrive at your destination. The field looks empty in the twilight of the dawn. Cold wind seems to penetrate you to the bone. When you step onto the plowed field, you sense a familiar shiver. This field harbors evil spirits. Ooh. You find a poorly hidden bundle of old wheat ears. It's a Khaldun's Zalom. The stems are tied in a knot and dusted with ashes and salt. Fresh grave soil, eggshells, and steamed grains are laid around it. You draw a circle. You feel that demons. I hope are it's not a boss far. fight. I don't think it is, but. Wind, oh wind of the Seven Brothers, the oldest one. Do not blow from the rotten corner. Do not bring rain from the west. But blow us warmth. Render good service to our people. Bring forth pleasant rain. Joy to plowmen. Glory to you, fierce one. You finish reciting the Zagavr, and for a moment, silence falls. Suddenly, a creaky voice from behind startles you. You should oh, geez. strange creatures. Thirsty curses. Then, you bless it right after. By you? Do you mean us, Kaldoons? Ha! Humans. Always on the border between worlds. And that is why you always lose. But who am I to complain? My name is Andrigo. And you... I've heard about you. You're the new witch, Vasilisa. Um, yeah, what, what about you? So is it you who spoils the field, sending dry winds? Spoil? You use the wrong word. I am helping the peasants, and I am a master at this. I mean, surely you understand that this is for their own good, don't you? What, so they'll die? I don't get what it. possible good can Broken Rye do? Oh, you disappoint me. All right. Here's the thing. The peasants will have a bad harvest this year. That is so. But it will make them search for new, better ways to grow wheat. I don't, I don't know if that's how that works. So when the real famine comes, people will be ready. I don't think that's Your how that works. Your new skills will help them overcome the true hardships. As you can see, I am a visionary. Well, now. Shall we go our separate ways? No, that's not how that works. That's not how it works. I'm gonna fight you. Die. You call that progress? I've had enough of your lies. You're going back to hell. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here. 
Okay, we got a boss fight here. So he's gonna summon more evil spirits. Okay, let's do this. Firm will verse, firm will verse, firm will verse. Uh, get a lock in early on. It's already doing 21 damage. Uh, we'll wait on the curse here. Since he's not doing any damage. I think we just target him fully. I think we ignore all the other people. Seventeen. What is he doing? Can't exist without its master. Okay, so if we kill him, if we kill him, oh, he's doing six times three damage. He's actually doing damage here, so we'll curse that guy. Um, and we will do firm. Uh, we'll do we'll do firm will burst on him. Firm will burst on him. Uh. Firm, one to all enemies, I guess. Three to all enemies. Doing 53 total damage here. And we're gonna take, we're, we're probably gonna take a decent amount of damage here. That's okay though. Hopefully the curse makes us take a lot less. We are gonna take a lot of damage. We're, we're just doing a very aggressive build right now. But I think it will pay off. Cause we wanna just clear him. Oh, that curse is way more effective than I thought it was going to be. And then we'll take six, so we're at 19. Okay, okay. You shouldn't have got it my way. And yet I have. Deal with it. Um, 13 to all allies, five damage to me. Yeah, we're just we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna just keep killing you. Just gonna keep killing you here. Was that 41 damage? Love it. Love it, love it. I don't know, maybe we should have killed the other minion. Just thrown one of them on them. I don't know. I don't think it's a bad idea to just be crazy aggressive like this, though. Is he gonna shield himself, or is he gonna shield the other person? That's the, uh, that's the question here. There's the five, so we're at four, 14. He shielded. Oh, he shielded everyone. Okay. What is this? Attacks. Seal a random page. What is that? Just prevent us. Attack. Seal a random page. What? Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Just keep being aggressive here. Keep being aggressive. Um. Firm will verse. Three to all enemies. Yeah, because I don't think blocking matters. I think we just need damage here. We're not gonna kill him, but I think next turn we'll be able to kill him here. This build is so good. We are we are getting low. I wonder what happens when you die. Demon seals. So every time he attacks now. I guess is how it works, but here we go. Now we just kill you here. We just uh, kind of kill you here. Let's go. I threw one on the other person just in case, but no, we got it. We got it. We got a hundred. Oh, we got an item. Strengthens status waste. Oh, that's really good for waste builds. The only problem is I don't see any other waste cards. I still haven't seen any other waste cards. I'd love to do a waste build, but... Oh, that was it. So, the name of the girl will be... A feat. Oh, <laughs> there's not voice acting for you all the names. You did the right thing sorting out that demon. Won't spoil any good crops anymore. Well, you've got all the items you need. Now we can try freeing your bride. Ooh. Since you have the book now, I can't go. I'm not the strong of a Kaldun anymore, to tell the truth. And Abdiriha is a powerful spirit. The bass spirit that lives beneath the benches, the Banya. She the female skinner. And skin you alive so fast that you won't know what hit you. So, Vasya, you must Oh, we got this. Don't you worry. Properly. Perhaps uh, you have some questions. Uh, ritual. What kind of ritual should we perform? I don't remember you teaching me any such things. 
I've never saved changelings from the bunnies. I think you will need to go down beneath the floor. The bunnik will test you there. You have all the right items, but don't forget your wits. Perhaps uh, you have some questions. Uh, ben. What is that, Abdiriha? So that, yeah, what Who is the female scanner? Where this one came from. These things all emerge in different ways. They say a bunnik settles in a banya where forty children were born. A male spirit that inhabits a banya. They say a bannock settles in a banya where 40 children were born. As for this one, the only thing we can say for sure is that she switches out children. Is it an accident or not? Only the Abdiriha can answer that. Perhaps uh, you have some questions. Oh well, yeah, I guess that's Time it. To hit the road. So, uh, okay, I think this is a, uh, a good stopping point here. Uh, you know, we got the, uh, we got the name and we really have, have figured out an insanely OP, uh, build right now that's really, really strong, our well-versed build. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you guys subscribe, ring that bell like all the big boy YouTubers say to be notified when the next episode of Black Book comes out, because I can tell this is going to be a big episode we've been building up to it for like three episodes gaining all the items that we need uh so next episode is going to be huge so you're not want to not going to want to miss out on that if it's already out it'll be next to me on the screen uh and uh if you're going to be grinding out some of the story of black book on your own then i wish you guys luck and see you all next time